with me, I'm Dipavli Hazra. These are the headlines at the top of six. A European Union delegation today met Prime Minister Modi and National Security Advisor Ajit Doval. The MPs panel will make their way to Kashmir tomorrow. The Prime Minister said that the delegation's visit to Jammu and Kashmir would give them a better understanding of the cultural and religious diversity of the region of Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh, apart from giving them a clearer view of the development and governance priorities of the region. A grenade attack at a bus stand in Sopor has reportedly injured several people. The attack comes a day after Diwali and a day ahead of the visit of a European delegation to the valley. During a meet with the delegation, Prime Minister Modi had said, without naming Pakistan, that there should be zero tolerance for terrorism or countries that use terror as an instrument of state policy. Maharashtra Alliance partners BJP and Shiv Sena met the governor separately today. While both parties insisted that it was a courtesy call, Devendra Fadnavis added that he apprised the governor of the current situation. Sena on Saturday hardens its stand for a claim to the chief ministerial post. Meanwhile, in an editorial in the mouthpiece Samna, Sena mocked BJP using a Shole dialogue to highlight the economic slowdown in the country. Haryana Deputy Chief Minister and JJP leader Dushyant Chautala hit back at allegations of duplicity for aligning with the BJP. He said that the JJP had not asked for votes for either the Congress or the BJP. He said his party decided to ally with the BJP in order to provide a stable government for Haryana. Post Diwali, Delhi's air quality remained in the very poor category but reported a significant improvement from last year. Delhi woke up to the worst AQI recorded at Anand Bihar at 3.58. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal said that Delhi had its first fewer crackers this time and that the air quality post Diwali was the best in five years. He, however, added that pollution has only seen a reduction and that the goal was to end it. The BJP circulated a video that purportedly shows Congress leader Siddharamaiah making conversation about the caste calculus in the state of Karnataka. He is heard talking about the support of various castes to leaders in the state. Siddharamaiah said that the BJP was misrepresenting his statement. The senior Congress leader said his words were in fact an expression of happiness at how caste equations were breaking up in Karnataka. Rescue efforts are still in their final stages to retrieve two-year-old Sujeet Wilson in Tamil Nadu who has been trapped 80 feet deep inside a bore well for over 60 hours now. The child reportedly fainted but is still breathing and his condition is stable. Prime Minister Modi tweeted his fears for baby Sujeet and said that all efforts are being made to ensure the child is safe. Rescue workers are drilling a hole parallel to the bore well to rescue the child. Progress is slow because of the rocky terrain. U.S. President Donald Trump launched into details of the raid that killed ISIS commander Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. Trump said that witnessing the action unfold live was like watching a movie. In what Trump described as a high-risk operation, American Special Operations troops were dropped into a terror compound located in a volatile area of northwest Syria, where they began an assault causing Baghdadi to retreat into a dead-end tunnel and detonate a bomb, killing himself. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more.